क्वेश्चन वन हंड्रेड एट विच इज योर सर्विस अलाउज यू टू क्रिएट अ साइन एंड मैनेज पॉलिसीज टू एनफोर्स डिफरेंट रूल्स एंड स्टे कंप्लायट विद योर सर्विस लेवल अग्रीमेंट्स ऑप्शन ए एज योर सिक्योरिटी सेंटर ऑप्शन बी एज योर पॉलिसी ऑप्शन सी एज योर ब्लू प्रिंट्स ऑप्शन डी एज योर ट्रस्ट पोर्टल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एज योर पॉलिसी एक्सप्लेनेशन एज योर पॉलिसी हेल्प्स टू इनफोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड टू एसेस कंप्लायंस एट स्केल थ्रो इट्स कंप्लायंस डैशबोर्ड इट प्रोवाइड्स एन एग्रीगेटेड व्यू टू इवेल्युएट द ओवरऑल स्टेट ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट विद द एबिलिटी टू ड्रिल डाउन टू द प्री रिसोर्स प्री पॉलिसी ग्रैनुलरिटी इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स टू ब्रिंग योर रिसोर्सेज टू कंप्लायंस थ्रू बल्क रेमिडिएशन फॉर एग्जिस्टिंग रिसोर्सेज एंड ऑटोमेटिक रेमिडिएशन फॉर न्यू रिसोर्सेज Common use cases for Azure policy include implementing governance for resource consistency, regulatory compliance, security, cost and management. Policy definitions for these common use cases are already available in your Azure environment as built-ins to help you get started. Next question. With Azure dash, you can scale your applications and create highly available services. Option A Information protection. Option B. Bastion. Option C. Kubernetes. Option D. Load balancer. And the correct answer is option D. Load balancer. Explanation. From the official documentation, load balancing refers to evenly distributing load, incoming network traffic across a group of backend resources or servers. Why use Azure load balancer? With the Azure Load Balancer, you can scale your applications and create highly available services. Load Balancer supports both inbound and outbound scenarios. Load Balancer provides low latency and high throughput and scales up to millions of flows for all TCP and UDP applications. Next question. A startup has deployed a set of virtual machines which are critical for their day-to-day -day operations. They need to ensure their availability even if a single data center goes down. One of their interns has suggested that deploying the VMS through a skill set would solve the problem. Do you agree? Option A, no. Option B, yes. And the correct answer is option A, no. Explanation. This answer does not specify that the skill set will be configured across multiple data centers. So, this solution does not meet the goal. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets let you create and manage a group of load balanced VMS. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. Scale Sets provide high availability to your applications and allow you to centrally manage, configure and update many VMS. Virtual Machines in a Scale Set can be deployed across multiple update domains and fault domains to maximize availability and resilience to outages due to data center outages and planned or unplanned maintenance events. Next question. Which of the following services would you use to embed the ability to see, hear, speak, search, understand and accelerate decision making into your apps without having any machine learning expertise? Option A. Azure Events Hub. Option B, Azure Machine Learning Studio. Option C, Azure App Service. Option D, Azure Cognitive Services. And the correct answer is Option D, Azure Cognitive Services. Explanation Cognitive services bring AI within reach of every developer without requiring machine learning expertise. All it takes is an API call to embed the ability to see, hear, speak, search, understand and accelerate decision making into your apps. Next question. Select the option that is false for resource groups. Option A. You can add or remove a resource to a resource group at any time. Option B. You can deploy up to 800 instances of a resource type in each resource group. Option C. The resources in a resource group can be located in different regions than the resource group. Option D. 
resources may be moved from one resource group to another. Option E. Resource groups can be nested. Option F. A resource can only belong to one resource group. And the correct answer is option E. Resource groups can be nested. Explanation. Resource groups can't be nested. That is, a resource group cannot exist inside another resource group. It is however possible is to link resources from other resource groups within a resource group. From the official documentation. It's amazing summary. Please do read. Next question. Azure Advisor has the ability to provide recommendations for Azure Express route. Option A. No. Option B. Yes. And the correct answer is option B. Yes. Explanation. From the official Azure documentation. Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that helps you follow best practices to optimize your Azure deployments. It analyzes your resource configuration and uses telemetry and then recommends solutions that can help you improve the cost effectiveness, performance, reliability, formerly called high availability, and security of your Azure resources. Advisor provides recommendations for application gateway, app services, availability sets, Azure Cache, Azure Data Factory, Azure Database for MySQL, Azure Database for PostgreSQL, Azure Database for MariaDB, Azure Express Route, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Public IP Addresses, Azure Synapse Analytics, SQL Servers, Storage Accounts, Traffic Manager Profiles, and Virtual Machines. Azure Advisor also includes your recommendations from Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which may include recommendations for additional resource types. Next question. Which of the following services can facilitate the deployment and scaling of containers? Option A. Azure Kubernetes. Option B. Azure Logic Apps. Option C. Azure Cognitive Services. Option D. Azure Active Directory. And the correct answer is option A, Azure Kubernetes. Explanation From the official Azure documentation, Azure Kubernetes service offers the quickest way to start developing and deploying cloud-native apps with built-in code to cloud pipelines and guardrails. Get unified management and governance for on-premises, edge, and multi-cloud Kubernetes clusters. Interoperate with Azure security identity, cost management, and migration services. Next question. When you cancel an Azure subscription, your resources are immediately deleted permanently to free up space. Option A, no. Option B, yes. And the correct answer is option A, no. Explanation. From the official Azure Docs, when you cancel an Azure subscription, a resource lock doesn't block the subscription cancellation. Azure preserves your resources by deactivating them instead of immediately deleting them. Azure only deletes your resources permanently after a waiting period. Next question. Which of the following requires the greatest security effort on your part? Option A. Infrastructure as a service. Option B. Database as a service. Option C. Software as a service. Option D. Platform as a service. And the correct answer is Option A. Infrastructure as a service. Explanation. IaaS is, in effect, where a cloud provider hosts the infrastructure components traditionally present in an on-premises data center, including servers, storage, and networking hardware as well as the virtualization or hypervisor layer. From a security perspective, this offering is probably the closest to traditional in-house IT infrastructure. Indeed, many companies will effectively move existing server payloads to IaaS either partially or completely resulting in a hybrid solution. And it will require much of the same security tools as a result. Next question. Choose three components of Azure SLAs. 
Option A. Service Credits Option B. Performance Targets Option C. Users Targets Option D. Uptime and Connectivity Guarantees And the correct answer is Option A. Service Credits Option B. Performance Targets And Option D. Uptime and Connectivity Guarantees Explanation A Service Level Agreement or SLA is a formal document that provides specific terms that state the level of service that will be provided to a customer. Microsoft's Azure SLA defines three primary characteristics of Azure service, performance targets, uptime, and connectivity guarantees. It should be noted that the free and shared tiers of many services do not come with an SLA. Next question. When a subscription expires, the trusted instance of the Azure AD service remains, but the security principles still maintain access to Azure resources. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation From the official Azure Docs, an Azure subscription has a trust relationship with Azure Active Directory. A subscription trusts Azure AD to authenticate users, services, and devices. Multiple subscriptions can trust the same Azure AD directory. Each subscription can only trust a single directory. One or more Azure subscriptions can establish a trust relationship with an instance of Azure Active Directory in order to authenticate and authorize security principles and devices against Azure services. When a subscription expires, the trusted instance of the Azure AD service remains. But the security principles lose access to Azure resources. Next question. Dash is capable of sending encrypted traffic between an Azure virtual network and on-premises location over the public internet. Option A. An application gateway. Option B. A firewall. Option C. Network security group. Option D. A VPN gateway. And the correct answer is option D. A VPN gateway. Explanation From the official documentation, a VPN gateway is a specific type of virtual network gateway that is used to send encrypted traffic between an Azure virtual network and an on-premises location over the public internet. You can also use a VPN gateway to send encrypted traffic between Azure virtual networks over the Microsoft network. Each virtual network can have only one VPN gateway. However, you can create multiple connections to the same VPN gateway. When you create multiple connections to the same VPN gateway, all VPN tunnels share the available gateway bandwidth. Next question. A platform as a service solution that has already been deployed cannot be scaled up or out without redeploying it. Option A. True. Option B. False. And the correct answer is option B, false. Explanation. You can always scale your PaaS solution up or out without redeployment. The very beauty of PaaS is that it allows you to avoid the expense and complexity of buying and managing software licenses. The underlying application infrastructure and middleware, container orchestrators such as Kubernetes or the deployment tools and other resources. You manage the applications and services that you develop and the cloud service provider typically manages everything else. Next question. Which of the following services meets both criteria? Number 1. Monitoring of traffic patterns 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, looking for indicators of attacks. Number 2. Detailed reports in 5-minute increments during an attack and a complete summary after the attack ends. Number 3. Engagement of dedicated team for help with attack investigation and analysis. Option A. Azure policies. Option B. A network security group. Option C. DDoS protection. Option D. Azure information protection. And the correct answer is Option C. DDoS protection. Explanation From the official Azure documentation. Distributed denial of service attacks are some of the largest availability and security concerns facing customers that are moving their applications to the cloud. 
a DDoS attack attempts to exhaust an application's resources, making the application unavailable to legitimate users. DDoS attacks can be targeted at any endpoint that is publicly reachable through the internet. Azure DDoS protection enables you to protect your Azure resources from denial of service attacks with always on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. There is no upfront commitment and your total cost scales with your cloud deployment. Next question. Your Azure account contains several policies and you wish to group or organize them. Which of the following can help you achieve this? Option A. Initiatives. Option B. Azure Active Directory. Option C. Resource Groups. Option D. Network Security Groups. And the correct answer is Option A. Initiatives. Explanation From the official Azure Docs An initiative definition is a collection of policy definitions that are tailored towards achieving a singular overarching goal. Initiative definitions simplify managing and assigning policy definitions. They simplify by grouping a set of policies as one single item. For example, you can create an initiative title enable monitoring in Azure Security Center with a goal to monitor all the available security recommendations in your Azure Security Center. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.